Hello everyone. I welcome you all to JK Tech Solution YouTube channel. Today in our channel, I am going to walk you through the MIMO antenna parameters extraction using ANSI SHFSS. So in our previous video, we have discussed about the design of single circular patch element, which consists of an substrate and ground with single circular patch. So for extracting the MIMO antenna parameters, I have designed a circular patch antenna array. So in this array, we consist of four patch and then we have seven layers. The first layer consists of patch and then the second layer is dielectric, which is a substrate. Here, here we have used the FR4 epoxy as dielectric. And then the third layer, we have metallic coupling strips. And again, the fourth layer, we have dielectric. Fifth layer, we have ground plane with aperture couple feeding techniques. And then the sixth layer, same dielectric of F4 epoxy. And then the layer seven, we have a feeding network, uh, which is uh, which consists of Wilkinson's power divider. Here we have two ports. So this is what the 3D view of circularly polarized patch antenna array. So these are all the following MIMO antenna parameters we are going to verify in this video. So the first parameter is total active reflection coefficient and the second parameter is envelope correlation coefficient. Then the third parameter is diversity gain. Fourth parameter is channel capacity loss. So these are all the following parameters we are going to verify in our video. So for reference, uh, I have provided the antenna calculator at blogspot.com and I also provided a QR code. I also mentioned the link in the description box as well as in the comment section, you can check it. Okay. So in the So the first parameter is total active reflection coefficient. So as you all can see the formula for total active reflection coefficient, it is nothing but S11 plus S22 to the whole square plus S12 plus S22 to the whole square divided by root two. So this is what the formula for total active reflection coefficient. So the optimal value of total active reflection coefficient should remain below zero dB. So this is what the condition. And then the second parameter is envelope correlation coefficient. As you can see the formula on the screen, uh, it can be seen as ECC, ECC equal to S11 star S12 plus S21 star S22 the whole square divided by 1 minus S11 square minus S21 square into 1 minus S22 square minus S12 square. This is what the formula for envelope correlation coefficient. So under ideal condition, the uh, highest acceptable threshold value for ECC is 0 0.5 for communicating devices. The next comes diversity gain. So as you can see, for finding diversity gain, first we need to find the envelope correlation coefficient. So after finding envelope correlation coefficient, we can find a diversity gain. So the formula for diversity gain is 10 into square root of one minus ECC squared. So to, due to increase the ECC performance, the S band range has a diversity gain of almost 0 0.1 for our design. So next channel capacity loss. So the formula, as you can see, minus log base to one minus S1 square minus S12 square. So the maximum channel capacity loss of a value is 0 0.5. So these are all the design parameters we have discussed. So now we can start with our simulation part. Okay, so MIMO antenna parameters, as I have provided the link in the description box, you can check it. So you can either click this link or else you can just copy and paste this link. Control C. So as you can see, the HFSS code for Mimanda parameters. So here, I think you can see the screen clearly right now. So as you can see the formula for Mimanda parameters, channel capacity loss, diversity gain, ECC, that is envelope correlation coefficient, and then TRC, total active reflection coefficient. So these are all the formulas we are going to substitute in HFSS simulation tool, right? So I will start with my simulation. So I already have designed a uh, circular patch antenna array, as you can see here clearly. Uh, we Here we have a FR4 epoxy as substrate. And the top layer consists of four patches. And then the middle layer, as you can see clearly right now here, You can see in the middle layer, we have 
aperture coupling as well as the metallic coupling strips and then the finally so this is what the wilkinson power divider we have okay so these are all the constraints of our design so now i will show you how to take the design parameters of muma antenna for that first we can take as so i can proceed with the ppt first we are going to verify total active reflection coefficient so for total active ref active reflection coefficient the formula is square root of s11 plus s22 square plus s12 plus s22 whole square divided by root 2 so as you can see the formula here in the github code for total active reflection coefficient so square root of s11 plus s12 square plus s21 divided by 1.414 So just we need to copy this code. Then we need to click on. So I have already run the file and I got the S one one parameter as well as S two two, S two one, S two two. I have got all the design parameters. That is S plot, S parameter plots as well as gain plot. I have obtained. So now we are going to. Click on HFSS results output variables. So the first we are going to find is total active reflection coefficient. First thing we are going to find is total active reflection coefficient. Just copy this code here, then Control C here. Just paste it. So here you need should not. The top value, okay. So if the blue color comes, then your code is correct. So name is torque T A or C torque. Okay. So after entering the name and then expression, you should click on add. So here the first parameter torque was added. Then the second parameter is envelope correlation coefficient. So here I have provided the code envelope correlation coefficient. You just copy this code and copy, then just paste the code in the expression. So for envelope correlation coefficient, we have ECC. Okay, then copy this and enter your name. Then click on add. So the next thing we need to add is After envelope correlation coefficient diversity gain. Okay, so we can find the diversity gain only if we already found the envelope correlation coefficient. So for diversity gain, the formula is ten star. You can see here you need to copy and paste the expression, and you can name it as DG. DG in the sense diversity gain. Click on add. Finally, we are going to add a fourth parameter. It's Channel capacity loss. For channel capacity loss, we have a formula. So we need to copy this. Copy. Then paste the formula here, and then the name is CCL. Channel capacity loss. CCL. Then click on add. So here we have successfully added the four parameters of MIMO antenna. After adding all the four parameters, click on done. So now you can see you click on HFSS results, create model solution report, rectangular plot. Instead of clicking rectangular plot, you can click here HFSS results, create four fields report, output variables. So here, as you can see, the parameters, whatever we have given, it is given here. Okay. So these are all the things that we have seen. So here we can express the torque. So we can express the torque value in dB, ten dB. Click on New Report. Okay. 
I think we made some mistake. Create fields report rectangular. Now, as you can see, the torque value DB10. Sorry, I forgot to simulate here. Okay, so after giving this, you need to click on validation check. So, design so good, then you need to click on analyze all. So, after simulation, we will get the correct results. So now as you can see here, simulation is going on right now. I forgot to simulate. So now our simulation part is over. Now we can check the results. Let's go on HFSS results. Click on model solution report. Output variables, torque, DB10. Click on new report. So as you can see here, we have obtained a value of total active reflection coefficient. So we have obtained it at a marker, add marker. So at 9.27 gigahertz, we have obtained total active reflection coefficient. Next, we need to obtain click model solution report, rectangular plot, output variables. The next thing we need to obtain here is ECC, okay, envelope correlation coefficient. So we express the ECC in magnitude. Okay, so here you need to click on magnitude so you can see here mag mag okay function should be magnitude for ecc so click on new report so here with we have obtained a value for ecc okay so as you can see here at 8.8 .8 gigahertz we have obtained a value for envelope correlation coefficient the next we need to obtain the value parameter for output variables, diversity gain. So we will be expressing expressed diversity gain in DB. So as you can see here, we have obtained a diversity gain at 8.28 gigahertz near to the 8.25, we have obtained a diversity gain. Next, finally, we are going to verify Rectangular plot, output variables, CCL, channel capacity loss. So this is the final parameter that we are going to verify. So as you can see here, the channel capacity loss can be expressed in DB10. Okay, 
click on new report. So we have obtained a plot for channel capacity loss. So here we have given, we have verified the four parameters. It is first one is total active reflection coefficient plot. So as you can see here, we have uh, successfully verified the four parameters. So this is total active reflection coefficient, envelope correlation coefficient, diversity gain, channel capacity. As you can see here, total active co reflection coefficient, then envelope correlation coefficient, then diversity gain, then channel capacity loss. So we have successfully verified the MIMO antenna parameters and we extracted the parameters for MIMO antenna using ANSYS HFSS software. Finally, I would like to thank everyone for patiently watching to my video. I hope you to see you again on next video. Thank you. Have a nice day.